you need to understand this and what I'm telling you in this video. Make sure to listen carefully. There's a lot of links there on the internet. There's also a lot of fake accounts. This is the only legit account on Twitter. Beware of these accounts on Twitter and of course, especially on Telegram. There's a lot of scams. I saw a lot of links like, oh, click here, you're gonna get Jupiter airdrop before it's like even open, you know? And that happens for almost each and every one of these drops. Whenever you encounter any links, whenever someone like, I don't know, DMs you or gives you an ad on a certain platform, please be sure to double check it. Actually triple check it because yeah, there's a lot of scams because all of this crazy bull run you can see that there's like a bit of a drop these like last seven days or maybe last three to four days. But this is why I like Solana. Have a look at this. It's all in the red, but Solana sticks in the green. All right. So you want to have this in crypto while everyone is going down. This is a stable coin. It's a stable ecosystem. And of course, Jupiter is in the Solana, as we all know. And there was an airdrop which happened on 31st of January. But now there's rumors that there's going to be more. So how can you claim the Jupiter airdrop? First of all, as I've already mentioned, just go to Google and type this Jupiter AG. This is the official website jupe.ag. When you click on it, there's going to be something like this. You can connect your wallet. I recommend Kepler or Phantom Wallet. Actually, you can't use Kepler here. I tried, I think, but no. It's more for the Cosmos ecosystem. So Phantom Wallet is going to work. And all you got to do for future airdrops is to do a lot. This will never be a get rich quick scheme. All right. You got to work on it. You have to do some things. You have to get the volume of swaps. You got to set some limit orders. You got to go with dollar cost averaging. You got to bridge some, do some perpetuals, even though it's in the beta phase. Actually, I've lost some here, but it qualifies you. All right. The more you do on this, well, the more chances you've got. And the reason is pretty simple, right? If they're going to give airdrop, they're mostly want to give it to the people that are actually using the ecosystem that are actually involved in the ecosystem. For example, the best way in order to qualify is to stake some first. And that's the one case where you don't have to do a lot. You just have to stake some soul. My recommendation is to stake over one soul because it's going to qualify you more. Maybe they've just put a certain threshold in place just to like clear like the bots and all of that. So just take over one Solana, do swaps, do all of the other things and just make sure you're on time. There is a good website here that I use all the time. It's called airdrops.1. So airdrops.1 is going to give you all of these claim dates for all of the future airdrops that are going to happen. As you can see, these are popular right now. For example, I like this Milky Way and you can see it's going to be TBD. Yeah, to be announced or whatever that means. But Milky Way, well, it's not on the Solana ecosystem. It is actually on the Celestia ecosystem, but Celestia ecosystem is also shaping up to give some really, really good airdrops. Now, the reason for this that I recommend Celestia as well as Solana is that Celestia is the first modular blockchain network. It provides something that is called data availability to different blockchains and applications that build on top of Celestia. But what's cool about this is that because there's dozens of networks launching on top of Celestia, many of them want to do some sort of like initial distribution of their tokens, right? It's usually going to be in the form of an airdrop, right? And when they do, you can see a lot of these projects coming up. They're building on top of Celestia. And when they do release the token, well, they often choose to airdrop to Celestia token stakers. And you know, Celestia token is Tia. And well, you can just know the reason they want to get their token in the hands of people, as I've already told you, in the hands of people that are already involved in their ecosystem somehow. Essentially, they just want to build up a community, right? It, just think of it like if you had a network, what would you do if you wanted to build up a community? It's the best way to attract people, to give them something for free, but not just to attract people who are going to sell the tokens right away, right? They're going to see who stakes and who stakes for the longest time. And those are the people that are going to receive the airdrop. So you got to have that in mind. And of course, as I've told you, swaps, 
dollar cost averaging. And when it comes to Celestia, there has already been a few airdrops this year that Tia Stakers got. One of them is Dimension, which is known as like the home of the roll apps. This basically makes it even easier to create and deploy custom app chains that they're like calling roll apps. And many of these roll apps would use Celestia as a data availability layer. And they might use Dimension as a settlement layer. So they're airdropped to Celestia stakers. So the first thing, stake Tia tokens. Use Kepler wallet for this. It's just like any other wallet, like MetaMask, like Phantom, it's gonna sit in your browser. Keep in mind that there's 21 day on staking period. Yeah, you cannot unstake it for 21 day, but you lock it up and then you just wait. And you gotta keep on top of what the airdrops are because you may have a time limit for claiming some of them. That is why I recommend this one just be sure to check this one periodically. Now you could have some problems when you want to stake Tia and that is like, well, there are some exchanges that allow you to buy and withdraw Tia, in which case that would be easy. However, if you don't have access to an exchange that lets you withdraw Tia, then there's two websites you can go to and easily acquire it on chain. The first one is Osmosis, and Osmosis is the main decentralized exchange for the Cosmos ecosystem, and you can swap other tokens on Cosmos, like Atom or Tia, you know, you can just swap it. Pretty much every major exchange lets you withdraw Atom, right? So at a minimum, you can acquire Celestia by getting some Atom and then bridging it to Osmosis and then swapping it for Tia and then bridging it to Celestia. Yeah. That's like a few steps, but it's not hard. The second website that I personally use is called Rocket X. This one lets you bridge from pretty much any other chain. They have hundreds of blockchains on here. You can bridge from Solana, from Arbitron, Ethereum even, pretty much any major chain that you might use. You can bridge directly over to Celestia and convert your tokens into Tia. So yeah, I use Rocket X. The second option, as I've told you, is Osmosis. And once you do that, you're gonna wanna go to the Kepler dashboard and here, all you have to do is to stake that Tia. It's not hard. I'm not gonna waste your time showing it. Just a few clicks, stake it. And once you stake your Tia, once more, check this periodically. And this is where I wanted to go with this Milky Way. All right, this is gonna be perfect. Remember what Jito did on the Solana ecosystem? Well, it's gonna be the same. Jito, like, they've got like 10, 20K, some of these airdrops, it was crazy. And the reason for that is that they were liquid staking provider for Solana ecosystem, the main liquid staking provider. Now, Milky Way is the leading liquid staking platform for TIA tokens, right? Now, Milky Way I see as the equivalent for Celestia. So, what you wanna do, you wanna stake some of your TIA through Milky Way. Pretty simple. Now, again, remember, this is all speculation, but if you wanna get some airdrops, that's a speculation you gotta have. So if you stake some of that Tia through Milky Way and they decide to make a token, and most crypto applications do, they probably wanna reward people who actually used their application, right? So stake some of that through Milky Way. I'm highly convinced this is gonna be the next big thing. And the last one that I wanted to show you today is Hyperlane. This is another application on the Celestia ecosystem, and this is interoperability protocol that's specifically built for Celestia rollups. You can see here, they advertise it pinned on Twitter here, so hyped to support Celestia's main net launch with Nexus. As you can see, the first Celestia rollup bridge and you can see that there's Bridge Live now. If you click on this one, you will be redirected here, and you can see, you can right away bridge from Celestia to Neutron, to Arbitrum, Manta, all of these other ones, and I think doing some swaps on this one back and forth wouldn't be a bad idea. Because if this successfully becomes the main or one of the main bridges for Celestia ecosystem, it's gonna have some good value. Once again, speculation. I'm not crypto mastermind, but I just know to look for these things, right? And I take some risks. But I'm not financial advisor. 
You don't have to listen to me. In fact, I do recommend to do plenty more research on your own and then go with this. But honestly, if you stake your Tia on Kepler, if you stake some on Milky Way and done this, then I think you qualified for most of the airdrops that are going to happen on the Celestia ecosystem this year. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.